Is the Social Security Administration listening to your phone calls, digging through your trash, following you around? There's been some videos online recently that uh, claim pretty much just that. And uh, I can tell you from my experience working inside the Social Security Administration for a few decades, I ran one of the busiest offices in the country. I can tell you that uh, that's not necessarily the case. And for a vast, vast majority of people, that is not the case. So what do we have here? So Social Security Administration and the OIG, which is the Office of the Inspector General, and these, these new units that popped up, uh, they, they, they started their first one in 1997 as kind of a pilot program, I meaning it's kind of a test program. And they started and it seemed to work out pretty good. It's called a CDI, Cooperative Disability Investigation. So basically, these units started up, and now, as of 2022, they're in every single state, and it's uh, a special agent. I, I know there's kind of a, a cool name. Um, the special agent in my district uh, used to work right next to me. He was a claims representative, and I was a claims representative many, many moons ago, and then uh, he applied for this special agent job and got the special agent job. and. Uh, and now he had a better name than claims representative. Now he called himself a special agent. Um, but basically, a special agent of the Office of the Inspector General, um, they've been around for a long time. They investigate fraud and overpayments and, uh, you know, people putting, um, you know, their loved ones in a barrel so they can collect their Social Security check. I did a video on that. Please check out the, my video on that, the spooky side of Social Security. Um, but that's uh, one of the main things they do, investigate to save the trust fund and everything. Um, but the disability program, Congress decided that there needs to be a specialized unit. Therefore, they started in 1997, these CDIs. Again, they've expanded to all 50 states. And their job is specifically disability related. And also it includes, you know, kind of Medicaid because a lot of people when they're on uh, Social Security disability, they're also on Medicaid through the state. And, you know, that's also a federal state partnership to pay for that. So their intent of the units is to go out there and save taxpayer money. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but some of the videos out there, um, uh, you know, try to kind of scare people. And they say, hey, Social Security and these CDI units and these OIG and the special agents, you know, they're following you around everywhere. And, what you should do is <clears throat> get these special phones, these burner phones, and um, you know, look around everywhere you go, and you know, always look back to make sure nobody's following you, and all that. You know, make sure you you know really you know chop up your trash and shred your trash and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of these videos are, other than to kind of scare people, stress people out. The, the long story short is. Again, working for Social Security Administration, uh, completely overwhelmed. And, and even these videos, uh, the, the same people that are trying to scare you with, you know, everybody's, you know, he's got these, you know, black helicopters following you around, trying to instill this paranoia in you that the Social Security Administration and these special agents are following you around and they know your every move and they monitor your emails and how much, you, you know, how much, you know, chicken you buy at the local restaurant. It's, it's, it's just crazy some of the stuff they say. And then another video they do, these same people, they say how incompetent the Social Security Administration is and they're too over and they're overwhelmed and they can't do this and they can't do this and all this other kind of things. And it's like, OK, you know, <laughs> which one is it? You know, they they're the Social Security Administration is the most efficient, you know, organization known to man and it follow and they know everything you're doing. And 24 seven, it's like Santa Claus. They, they you know, know when you're naughty and nice. And the next minute they say, oh, yeah, they have Social Security. They, they don't know what they're doing and they're completely lost and they're overwhelmed. And so it's, you know, you, you got you to gotta choose your sides there, guys. Um, but from my personal experience working in the Social Security Administration for a few decades, um, completely overwhelmed. Yes. Um, barely keep up with the daily workloads. Barely keep up with the people walking in. Barely keep up with the, uh, the the phone calls coming in. The people filing for retirement, disability, and all the rest of it. Um, but there are these OIGs and CDI units out there. How they get kind of you know pick a case activated or sent to you know 
you know, to, to investigate um, is, um, you know, if someone comes in the Social Security Administration or there's um, work that's reported from that particular person's employer and that sets up a red flag. And then, you know, the Social Security Administration just sends out, you know, the forms and say, hey, it looks like you're working. Uh, what's going on here? And you just respond and say, okay, well, no, it's not work. It's, you know, royalties or it's a previous work that, that my previous employer, you know, owed me or something like that. And so it's like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, but if there's any suspicions there, then, you know, we'll ask again. And doesn't, doesn't make sense. Does it take, you know, pass the smell test? Then, you know, we'll call up the OIG or one of the CDI units and uh, say, hey, this doesn't sound right. Um, this person's receiving disability and, you know, they're, you know, they're, you know, working and making this much money and all the rest of it. And uh, they say it's not their money, but, you know, see what you can do to check it out. So, you know, as, as long as you're not doing things like that where you're actually working, um, you shouldn't have an issue if you're truly disabled. Because again, Social Security defines disability as the inability to work. Obviously, you can work a little bit. You can watch some of my other videos on working while receiving disability and working while receiving retirement, all the rest of it. Um, you can work to a limited degree, but if you work over that, then Social Security defines you as not being disabled. And you know, we used to have people come in all the time and say, well, how do you expect me to live on you know, $1,600 a month or whatever the case may be? I have to go out there and work and make and an extra $50,000. Yes, we understand that, but by the rules and regulations of Social Security, that means you are not disabled. Um, that is just the nature of the, the program. So as, as long as you're not doing anything like that, I, you know, I hate to, you know, if, if you're already, you know, disabled, you've got a lot of people out there that are already disabled, and they're already dealing with their, their illnesses, they're dealing with the terrible healthcare system, um, you know, uh, Medicare and, you know, the, whatever plans they choose, and they're already stressed enough. So I think it does a great disservice for people on YouTube and, you know, go out there and kind of stress people out even more. Um, if <clears throat> you are, in fact, out there defrauding the government and, you know, receiving benefits you shouldn't, benefits that could go to someone else that actually is entitled to those benefits, then, yeah, then hopefully Social Security, CDI, unit, OIG, whoever will find you out. And usually, probably a vast majority of the time, just kind of throwing out numbers from my personal experience with, you know, hundreds of thousands of cases, probably 80, 90 percent is not Social Security starting some type of investigation. It's your neighbors or quite often it's ex-spouses or ex, you know, girlfriends or boyfriends or cousins or something like that that are, you know, hey, he doesn't look disabled. And because um, some people don't look disabled, there's other, you know, uh, you know, mental issues rather than, you know, kind of physical issues that you can see. So your next door neighbor quite often sends, you know, calls Social Security Administration and says, hey, you know, I know this person is receiving disability. And because this person is receiving disability, their kids are also receiving, you know, benefits as well. And, you know, doesn't look sick to me. He's out there mowing the lawn and doing all this other kind of stuff and, you know, doesn't look disabled. And so usually that's the source of the, the, the report that comes into Social Security Administration. And when we get that, when the Social Security Administration gets that, you know, they have to take action on it. So they usually, you know, start off with sending the whole, you know, papers and say, okay, are you truly disabled? And one of the key things on doing all that is, is making sure you keep um, uh, records. Um, if you're going to the doctor, make, get a journal, go down, buy yourself a, you know, you know, $2 little notebook and then make a journal and say, you know, on this particular date, I went to this particular doctor, I'm taking this particular medication on this particular date. I, you know, I felt terrible this, on uh, you know this particular date, I called Social Security Administration. I told them you know, I'm going to be working. I'm going to be making you know, under a thousand dollars a month. And I talked to you know John at the local Social Security Administration, and it's you know, February 19th at you know this time. And John said, "Yep, it's cool, it's cool. As long as you stay under this amount, you're all good." Make a little note of that. You know, went to the doctor. This, do not. Um, got this prescription. No longer taking this prescription. You know, if you decide to go, stop going to the doctor because you know the 
nothing's going to get improved, then, you know, make that note as well. And if anything ever comes up, your next door neighbor, your cousin or, you know, ex-spouse or whatever like that, you know, drops the dime on you, then you've got documentation and, you know, the Social Security Administration knows, okay, yeah, yeah. We understand that, you know, your next door neighbor didn't see a disability, but we know what your disability is. So if we just, you know, throw that out and it's no big deal. We go on with the next 400 cases for that particular day that we have to adjudicate retirement, survivor benefits, disability, and all the rest of it. So uh, super long story short, um, don't make yourself more sick, please. Don't make yourself more stress out. Um, worrying about, you know, black helicopters and, you know, people going through your trash and listen to your phone calls. Um, it's, 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 it's not worth it. If one day you get a letter from Social Security and they're asking you, you know, are you still disabled? Are you working? Anything like that? Just fill it out. And again, watch one of my videos and it'll tell you how to, you know, to respond. And uh, don't stress it out. Um, don't stress that that's going to, you know, it's going to be worse for you. Um, relax, deal with the bureaucracy, you know, subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, knowledge is power, just, you know, don't stress. That's the most important thing. Just deal with the bureaucracy, the, the Social Security employees, they're, they're doing their job. If they get this particular notification, then they have to investigate it. And once they investigate it, they close it out. And, you know, quite often the people that notified um, Social Security Administration about that you're not disabled, they, we, we don't go back to them and say, oh yeah, no, yeah, that person, that person is truly disabled. They don't have a physical disability. They have a, this other type of disability that you can't see. They don't go back there and, and tell them the result of that. So unfortunately, that person is going to have a grudge or keep complaining or whatever the case may be. But the Social Security Administration will look at it and says, oh yeah, there's that guy. Just, he just won't let it go. He just keeps complaining about, you know, you. And, uh, but we just trash it and put it in the record that this guy is annoying and we just move on. So you should move on as well. Just don't stress and go on with your life and uh, take care of yourself. All right. And if you have any other questions on any of that, make sure you watch all my videos. But take care of yourselves and have a beautiful day. Take care.